Hey now, say now, what's up Solar System? It's your girl, Righteous Soul, and today, I wouldn't say the topic is a little touchy, but for those out there who are married and dealing with maybe sex drive issues from one mate, maybe has a higher sex drive than the other, or for monogamous people um, who are pressuring or feels like um, they're ready to get married and maybe not sure on the other end what the partner is thinking about or having just having that mature discussion about it and so exclusivity so these are things that I'll be talking about today and you have to keep in mind that I'm not married at all so I don't come from a standpoint or a viewpoint of marriage because it's impossible when you're not that thing to weigh in 100% on that thing you could say things you're thinking or things you would do or you feel like you would do based on your character but you can never say a hundred percent you're that thing or you feel that thing if you're not it you know so I'm not in a marriage so I can't ever say that but then again um, exclusivity and uh, being monogamous is something and for those who are not sure what monogamy is it's just the state of being with one person you know uh, whether that's dating or uh, in a marriage uh, monogamy is just the you and another partner not multiple because then you start getting into polygamy and polyamory you know the the bridge kind of has opened up a bit in 2020 so you have so many things and so many um possibilities of dating and um to each his own will always be my uh, understanding and uh statement when it comes to it because you know what what works for me or what i would like to work for me um, isn't something that could work for everyone because that's not how we're built we're humans and actually one of the only species to actually practice um the that concept of monogamy like that like it's very uh few like animals and things like that that's not what the what the concept is for like with reproduction reproduction and honing in on one particular person so you got that part of it to think of if you're overthinking it but for the most part that's what we're going to be discussing today but i wanted to show you guys this clip before i actually got into the actual discussion because this is what wired this discussion so the guy is is weighing in from his perspective and i won't say what it is because i'm gonna show you um through the screen record and then the the lady is weighing in on hers and then you know of course what you do i went to the comments to see like who you know i knew most of the guys were going to be feeling the guy um i did not know whether the the ladies would be feeling the lady or not all i can say is i understood the lady and the man see and that's hard sometimes sometimes it's very hard when you're not in something to understand it from both perspectives but that's the better viewpoint is kind of being on the outside looking in so that it comes from a very unbiased um, platform so that's what i'm going to show you guys today and you guys can feel free to chime in in the co comments and while you're here go ahead and subscribe i got some more not just juicy topics hot topics for us but i also got challenges i got games i have uh, trivia i have vlogging i have a lot of things that'll be going on on my channel um so it's there's enough there for everyone so make sure after you subscribe there's a bell click that bell to turn on the post notifications so that you can always receive video uploads from me and anytime i do anything with the channel whether that's go live whether i do a giveaway or whatever it is you'll always have access to it because they'll send you the notification all right so i want you guys to watch this clip and then definitely chime in and make sure you're watching it undisturbed so that you can actually take in what each party is saying and then i'll chime in next all right <laughs> based on our marriage laws and uh -huh. the the contract we've signed with each other right to have sex with anybody else right so these urges that come, mm -hmm. I have to share them with the one person I decide to spend the rest of my life with. Right. So that that brings me back to my 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 soundbite. Okay. Right. I don't understand, and this is what we can discuss mm -hmm. as a woman, because I don't I don't want to say it's a man versus woman thing, but a lot of women do complain. Oh, my husband's always on me. Why is he always on me? Mm -hmm. If sex is gonna be a chore for you that you don't really want to do, why do women constantly push monogamy on men if you know that you don't want to have to deal with him all the time just wanting you mm -hmm. why do you push monogamy on men well who's to say i pushed anything on anybody like well we know that people, you pushed monogamy on me i pushed monogamy i forced you to get married to me time out i didn't say you forced me to get married but did, did you not say to me that you wanted to be engaged and you wanted to be married before you lived with me you I didn't want, say that i want a billion dollars that don't mean i'm gonna get it i but, can want but something asking, but not 
you, you right now you nobody, dodging the question. Nobody pressed you to to do it. Yes, is that something I wanted? Yes, it was. But you didn't press me. To, are you gonna lie now so to the people because we talking about sex? Deval, you're gonna Deval, lie now to the people. Deval, knowing. Kadeen, you didn't strong, want monogamy. Of course I did. So then why are you avoiding the question? That's not avoiding the question. I'm saying, does that mean because I want it and I requested that that you were gonna deliver it? Like nobody pressed you for that. Tell me, you just said you wanted it and requested it. Do you not hear yourself? I can make a request. Is the request going to be granted? Am I That's not? Up to am you, I? Bro. Am I not granting you monogamy? You are granting it to so, me. So this is my question. Look this at is my you question. Always look at this. Look at, look at your boy. Look at your boy. This is my question. If you wanted monogamy, okay. Why would you want monogamy if monogamy if if sex is a chore for you? That's the question. You're avoiding the question. I'm not avoiding the question, but at first you said me, women or or in general me specifically are pushing monogamy on somebody. Okay, yes, that's something that I wanted, but I didn't press you for it and be like, "Devalue my whole gun to head to propose to so me." Come out. Do also, women... okay. also, let me finish. Also, I don't feel like I was adequately prepared. For marriage. And I've said that before because if I knew that marriage and monogamy was going to involve me trying to meet you where you were at sexually for years to come, then I probably would have reevaluated it if I wanted to be monogamous anyway. So that's fair, but we're not even, even talking about marriage. Let's even talk about dating, right? Okay. Two people are dating. Typically in society, who asks for exclusivity first, a woman or a man? I would say a woman. Thank you. That was my whole point. See, you were going all over the place. If women typically ask for exclusivity first, then when they get exclusivity, say, he always on me. He always want to have sex. Why are we asking men for exclusivity if we do not want to participate in sex at the same level as men? We have to think about what I, that does to a man. I that. And I don't think that that's being, that, that conversation is being had. Okay. I agree. And that part I agree with. Yes. That women are typically the ones that will ask for the exclusivity. I get that. Yes. But what I'm saying is me as a woman, I don't think that I was necessarily prepared or in the mindset to know that. It's almost like once you get into it, then you're like, oh, shoot, like this is what I'm going to have to keep up with. I get that. Us speaking as 36 year old people know that now. Had I known that at 26, I, get that. I would have to contend with that. I Even in the dating realm, I then it might have been something I would have reevaluated. So now let's go back to what you asked me. You said to me you never pressured me to get married. In 2007, we were living together, right? You said you no longer wanted to live with me and shack up with me mm -hmm. because you wanted to be my wife, not my girlfriend. Right, because I wanted to know where that the relationship was That don't sound like going. pressure to you? It sounds like me voicing where I see my life going. It, it sounds like me saying this is what I would like. You can decide to meet me there. If not... We can reevaluate what exactly we're doing. Okay. Additionally, would I call it pressure per se? Not necessarily pressure. Eh, 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 it is. It is. It is pressure. But you don't want to say it's pressure. What about being you engaged? You might have felt pressure. What about there being was no engaged? Behind it. I said, we don't got to rush to get married. You said, I don't want to be engaged longer than a year. Is that not pressure? That's me voicing <laughs> my opinion about it. <laughs> Sounds like pressure to me. So you say you want to be engaged. I get engaged. You say you want to be married within a year. We do that. We get married. Then you make it seem like, like sex is a chore to your husband. Once again, I ask the question, why do women who push forth monogamy on the man they're dating then get overwhelmed when that man who tries to provide that monogamy to you, why do you get upset when we're trying to be what you want us to be? You don't want me to be with no one else, right? Right? I'm asking. This is a serious right. question. Yes, absolutely. You don't want me to be with no one else. Absolutely. So if I decide that all this testosterone I have, I want to give to you, why is this so overwhelming now? This is what you asked for. Again, 26 and 27-year-old Kadeen. Uh -huh. Was like, okay, here's the natural succession of life. You graduate. You're working. You meet somebody. You guys are dating. You want children. Yes. I want children. Yes. We don't want to wait too long or too late to have children. Yes. Though now a lot of people are waiting until their 30s to have yes. children. And I understand why. And we, and we at that time felt like, well, we're doing everything in this natural succession that the forces that be have given us this timeline. However... I did not realize that after having children, after, you know, career changes, all of the turbulences that we've been through in life, that that was going to have a direct effect on my sex drive. Okay. That was, 
that was what it was. So what are what are y'all thoughts? What are you thinking right now? Is there one side that's more valid than the other? And um, as a man or a woman in a marriage or not in a marriage, you, you don't have to be in a marriage to chime in on this particular discussion. Um, but to be wholeheartedly in the discussion, the marriage opinion um, from those who've been there and done that would be, you know, something that I want to definitely see because I know for a fact there are people dealing with the same thing. I know people who are dealing with these these same issues. And I often, when I was younger and I said, you know, oh man, I don't know, you know, before I was saving myself from marriage and then I got to a point where I was like, okay, well, I like the same sex. So it, is marriage even going to be honored by God? You know, so, well, I'll be waiting forever to do. So that those are some thoughts, some thinking habits that I kind of developed as I grew older and matured. And then I started thinking like, can I be with one person forever, which is a very long time, you know, cause you're with your siblings or your friends who you at long lasting relationships with. So you're like, if you can do that, then, you know, but there are other dynamics that come into play when it comes down to connecting as one with someone and then making them your partner for life which is the intention even if you eventually get divorced all right so i i this this video was kind of had me like ooh, this is this is good stuff you know good stuff in the sense of no i never want to see anyone rocky in a marriage or anything but good stuff in the sense of these things need to be talked about and so i was thinking like how do you have a healthy discussion without one offending your partner and then two um being selfish so you know you have those honeymoon stages when you first start dating someone and you know most of those phases are filled with a lot of connections a lot of uh so intense feelings and a lot of intercourse if we will um i know sometimes we get tired or we grow out of the honeymoon phase and we become comfortable and relaxed with people so of course it's only natural to then um, be complacent and you know then say you know well i don't want i'm not as i'm not the same person as when i was kind of in the honeymoon stage my drive isn't as high so the lady on one end is saying you know yes yeah, she wanted that guy she wants the guy to be with just her um and also him to understand that hey i don't have as high of a sex drive as you have so we have to figure out a compromise there and he's saying that if you wanted to pressure me into marrying you so that we can live together and coexist or cohabitate you know whatever and um you know raise a beautiful family one day then you know that that was there was pressure that he felt on his end and um now he's just talking about it with her because you know she's saying you know I, I never pressured you i didn't make you do it and even if i asked you to do it there's no guarantee that you were going to fulfill that end of the deal but he did <laughs> and so not only did he you know he's a handsome gentleman but you also have to understand that connections um have less to do with what a person looks like and more to do with their their um, interactions and their commitment to another person and so that is is where the issue comes in the hand this is a very uh, a married couple they've had kids of course based on that interview and they are now having this deep 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 discussion and then I remember looking into the comments of the IG when I re screen recorded this and one of the guys was like you know well, he ain't gonna get any after this if he even if he you know even if she was thinking about it he's not getting any after this point and so it so I just wonder, you know, one, it wouldn't be fair for her to hold it um, from him because of a, a argument issue. But women, we do this all the time. Like we, um, a lot of women do use their bodies as the weapon. You know, some p women are taught from birth that this is your jewel, you know, treated as such. And then some are like, hey, this is your bargaining chip treated as such so depending on your upbringing and then what life throws at you because your upbringing can be one thing but then life throws another curveball at you and you're like okay well I'm, I'm about to milk it for what it's worth in another direction than what I was raised so if you're with me on this you see the two different opposing sides the male perspective and the lady perspective from but the married perspective is the one perspective except um, because they're one but not one brain thinking because clearly they are two in this particular clip and the lady is he wants her to come to a straight answer with it like listen true or false is it not the woman that pushes the monogamy on the man um and the thing about that is like even if she 
um, wanted him to, you know, propose and, and get married in a certain time. I don't feel like he had to do that if he wasn't ready to do that. But I do feel like in this, according to this clip, that he maybe cares about her a lot and loves her. And he was willing to do that because of those things. And so, hey, it's not hard to make that commitment if I truly, genuinely like you. And maybe he was getting a different part of her in the beginning. Like maybe that honeymoon phase wears off, kids are in the picture work and job pressures are in the picture um issues with with things going around you life happens is in the picture now right so at what point do they they have to have the discussion but it looks like this discussion was being recorded this is the kind of discussion you have off camera with your mate in my opinion it's the one this is kind of the marriage that i would like to lead is where we can have those discussions um but not but not before an audience if that makes sense it's just too much comes into play when you put other people in your business like that so um now floating around is his uh he wants to be with just her you could tell but he wants her to be with him sexually anytime almost like I, I should be as a man or a married man is what he's saying he's not even like it ain't me as a boyfriend approaching you as a girlfriend it is me as the man that made the commitment yes it was pressure for me you know even if you don't see on your side where it was pressure it was pressure for me i made that commitment with you and now i'm saying that you know that is something that maybe we should have thought about twice or before you put monogamy um, and exclusivity into the picture that you consider that this man's sex drive is very high and hers doesn't appear to be as high as his and that's a question for the comments um is i mean is naturally a man's sex drive different from a woman's um so i'm thinking you know just based on how everything has been sexualized in the world and how um even in magazines you know the women are less clothed and the men are more going for that even in the music videos so it's like their sex drive appears to be a little bit more high than ours and i'm not sure if that's the um you know that i don't have research i didn't do any research on that i didn't even look it up um it's just according to the images and observation of life that I've, I've witnessed and so even if that's not the case and you have a woman with a high sex drive it just seems like these are things that you kind of discuss maybe before marriage like hey how do we approach it if i'm ever wanting sex and you're not wanting to give it to me you know that happens but we're we're human so a woman is not going to be a hundred percent all the time where she feels like she wants to give her body to her husband just because it's her i mean is that her duty you know to, just because he wants it to give it what if he wants it so many times a day every single day and your body just wears out like what if that happens like how do you have that discussion and so i think these two are at a point where even in the comments of the ig uh recording that i saw they were like okay people were like okay it's gonna be time for a divorce or it's time for one now for them because they're just weighing in on the sexual part about it i don't know how the rest of their relationship is going but i do think that this one according to how the man is thinking weighs a big part about how the rest of the relationship goes and it's simply um a heavy burden for him and the the burden is heavy for him and he wants her to at least hey own up to the fact that it's women who push the monogamy on the man and then there's a pressure there for him to like either be without this woman or to you know honor her demands and he's saying i love her and i care about her enough where i'm gonna honor the demand but when he gets into the marriage and she even admits on this video that hey i maybe i didn't think this through uh, maybe i didn't uh consider it all when i when i was at 26 now that i'm 36 or so you know that's a different ball game a different me is thinking and it's not the same me you met and i think that happens in the honeymoon stages early on too which is why i never ever like to rush when i'm dating like if i'm getting to know someone i'm automatically on don't rush this because this feeling will be gone you know this energy that you you, you found yourself upon this pleasant surprise is going to wear off 
this is the honeymoon stage like it's going to wear off so take it in absorb it as much as you can and like just enjoy these moments don't rush it don't you don't have to be with them all day you know give them their break give them their space allow them to be them when they're not with you and then when you guys come together allow that to be something that you don't rush and so i'm so adamant about that because i've seen you know um i've seen some connections be made and witnessed and been a part of connections that were very very strong especially in the beginning and then as things kind of you know as the time kind of grows this kind of happens and you don't want that to happen when you can help it but even if it must happen let me take it in slow you know let me enjoy what I'm dealing with now I don't want to rush it I don't want to give anyone everything all at one time and I too want to figure out if this person is even compatible with me in the other areas of life not just sex you know so it has come down to that so what are your thoughts on what this couple is experiencing is and then two if you've experienced this at all like how did you handle it and and did it end well I mean if it ended I know that doesn't mean it did end well that just means you guys had to part ways for for whatever reasons that um, that there were but right now what are your thoughts on that and that that was my thought and even the, the age-old question should a man be allowed to just have sex with his wife anytime he pleases and and like in my mind I just think of of rape and people don't put rape and marriage together but if I have to have sex with you every time you want to have sex and I don't want to have sex or my body's just not in the mood that day not ever but just that day um, am I still obligated to give you my body it's a, it's it's one and that's not a my mindset that's me asking you as the subscribers out there or the viewers of this video what are your thoughts on that should he uh, a man be allowed to just have sex with his wife anytime he wants simply because he wants it you know and is that something that she um, and there are different levels to sex too so some people be like well maybe she don't feel like laying down with him but she could do other stuff you know um what is there is there a compromise or what is the maturity there in a man kind of waiting till maybe the next day you know if if she doesn't feel like it and would he be offended so this is where unequally yoked vessels will never be able to work this part out <laughs> not together because one's gonna always think okay i think this way about it you think this way about it and then in some instance as maturity um goes along you should just kind of agree to disagree but figure out how to solve the issue because it, it, this is indeed an issue this video is showing you that there is an issue at hand and one she was surprised when he said oh you pressured me and because to him to her it wasn't pressure it was just stating hey this is what I want if you can give me that I understand or she can say she understood but I'm just voicing verbally what I want out loud and her her d defense is um I'm not saying you're going to give me this I'm just saying this is what I want that's it so um what happens then if people are on two sex drive levels two different levels like how do they work that out and can it be worked out you know because that's a big deal especially for guys <laughs> i know this like they talk about it you know i've been around some dialogue or you know i'm glad the married people weren't there like the spouses weren't in the room because you know that this is something and I like to know these things early on like before I get to a marriage or like before you get to um, if you were going to law school for example and somebody somebody already had some of the uh, advantage of already have gone gone to law school and now you can learn from them you know like oh you know I had that class here I still got a few books you know that would be nice when it comes down to marriage for a lot of us like oh you know I've never been in a marriage so and you have like what are some things you you learned or you took away from it you know Know, so that is um these are things to kind of keep in mind especially us either younger ones and i'm old now i'm not young anymore <laughs> um 36 now so i'm right at the mark of where that lady is and i definitely can tell you i didn't think the same way about life at all when i was 20 26 versus 36 i'm in a completely different ship like i was in baby boats then like mentally i have advanced and skyrocketed um part of that was life and part of that was me being willing to allow life to teach me and it came at the point of being knocked down but hey i learned so 
you know, that's the win-win. So, yeah, I'm not the same person even that I was three months ago, yet alone, you know, 10 years ago. So, I know that people do change. And I only know that because I have changed. And, like, it's for the better. We don't always change for the better. So, those are the things, to, uh, the questions. And it, it is not having the same sex drive that, that you guys can't work out the issue. Is that car, you know... Is that something that's cause for divorce or not? What do you think? And so these are, can it be worked out? And then I think we, we really have to heavily think about that honeymoon stage. For some people, that honeymoon stage lasts months. For others, it could extend, you know, for it could go weeks. Um, but it really just depends on you and the connection and what you guys share. And if you are in the overthinking mode, sometimes that, 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 that flame, you know, sizzles out a little bit sooner because you're overthinking everything or you're comparing this person to exes or oh the ex did this in your head even if you don't say it out loud so is this something that that i can can allow growth for um without overthinking so that's it guys simple as that that video was very one for you to think about, one for you to consider. If you're in a marriage, something for you to do. Um, I would recommend, and I'm not a counselor of any sort or married, so no, it's not that cup of tea, but I would suggest you having that heart-to-heart -heart with your mate, you know, pulling them to the side. Not when there's a, a lot of people around or no, not when y'all are at couples night out. No, don't pull these strings there. These are things that are intimate. These dialogues are very sensitive, and I think they should be had, and at some point i need you to have them so that you can develop and grow with your spouse or if you're not going to do that so you can amicably part ways you know because ultimately everyone is not meant to to kind of stay with the person that we and a lot of times is it is that we were unequally yoked you know so it is what it is no right or wrong there it's just that hey, we may not have made the right decision about choosing our partners all right guys Thank you for, for watching, for listening, and for allowing me to freely speak, even not being married, on this particular video. I, and I, a lot of me speaking is me asking you guys questions about, like, what do you think on this topic? Because I'm very curious as to what people are thinking. All right, remember, I know it's my world. You know it's my world, but it really isn't a world without you in it because you guys are who helped me kind of go and keep going and pushing me. You're coming in. You're allowing me the space to be me, and I'm good definitely going to allow you the space to be you so thank you guys and remember to subscribe click the notification bell and share this on your social media i need all the people watching this to share it, even if it's just three or four people you know definitely share it all right you know what's next hey now say now and 